Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how we save our cucumber seeds. Uh, this particular variety is a Lebanese muncher. So I'm going to go through the process of what we do here. These are all our cucumbers that we're saving for seeds. Um, they've been in for quite a while now. Um, just been protecting them from fruit fly, but also from people trying to pick them because little kids love to pick them. So um, these ones I sort of took care to make sure that they didn't cross pollinate. So I've tagged them and put bags on them straight away. So you can see here all of these seeds at the top which are floating they're actually no good so i'll scrape those off all these ones down below they're the ones that i want to keep um, so basically they're not really viable they're usually not fully formed if they're really light and they're coming up to the top um, so that's a good way to sort of sort your seeds before you get beyond this point So if I pick up one of these seeds that were sort of floating, you can kind of see um, they're not fully formed. They're actually quite, I guess, empty. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to tell on camera, but um, you can definitely tell what seeds are viable just by looking at them um, when you first start saving these seeds. So once I've scraped that top layer off, I'm just going to give it a, a really good stir. I'm going to try and basically what we're trying to do is ferment them a little bit um, so that outer layer breaks down. But I'm still just at the moment getting off all of these seeds that aren't fully formed. You can see them sort of sitting on the top there. So these are looking pretty good now. Um, how long I ferment them for really depends on temperature. Usually in summer, it's literally overnight. Um, you just want that gel to start breaking down. In cooler months, um, we definitely need a few few more days um, just to get that to start breaking down and get it fermenting. But um, these look good. So what I'll do now is I will give it another stir, make sure there's none of the floaties and give it a rinse. And then we'll start drying them out. So I've still got a little bit of this gelatinous goo, um, but they're pretty good. I'll keep rinsing them to get that off. Um, and then what I do is I stick them on some plain white printer paper. Um, I've tried in the past using paper towels, um, but you could use, just use one of these trays if you wanted to, but there's a quite a lot here. But what I need to, to do is get them to fully dry out without going moldy. So. I find paper works because it drains a bit of the moisture as well as it's doing it. Here we all are. Um, I'll just sit here and make sure there's no seeds sitting on top of each other and just let them fully dry out. Um, the reason why I don't use paper towel is because I find they, um, that it's a bit harder to get the seeds off once it's dry, but um, I would like to end up getting some mesh sheets um, to do this process eventually, but um, this is what's working well for us now. So we now use these splatter guards, um, can get them from most kitchen shops, but they're super good. Um, they help with plenty of airflow. Um, it's a bit more sturdy and we can reuse them over and over again. So these are some of our butternut pumpkins that we're just drying off now. So much 
much for watching. If you like this video, please like and please subscribe. Keeps me motivated to make these videos. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.